hate puppies. It came in a little hot. Yeah. A little bit hot. It's a good podcast. Come in hot. I feel threatened. What is going on, everybody? You fat, fat people. <laughs> Welcome to you the lazy day. lazy bastards. <laughs> the day after Thanksgiving. The fattest day of the year, maybe only second to the day after the Super Bowl, depending on how you choose to get down. You and I are fat because we won all those bets yesterday. So we many won all bets. those bets. Great day of football. Great day of football. Top Unbelievable. The Unbelievable. I knew Detroit would win one. That's finally. right. Yeah. Oh, they're playing someone really good, I think. There's a, Actually, I think all three games are really good this uh, Thanksgiving, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Everyone's going to be sitting around feeling extremely fat on when this, this episode comes out, and I'm good with that. Happy Thanksgiving. Today is the day we break all the uh, – we put the tree up usually Friday or Saturday after Thanksgiving. And that's what I'm doing break today. Break all the stuff out. I know that's what I'm doing today. And what I like to do is I like to eat everything and be particularly slovenly on Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then – Go up and down the stairs to the attic and carry down giant boxes of stuff right up until the moment of stroke. Yeah. And then just try to back off yeah. just before so I can feel the high that is me lightheaded. That's right. Heart pounding. You know how to do it. A little bit of pain in the in the arm and be like, whoo, we got it close today. <laughs> That's quite the rush. I, I can't stay. I really do get like L I V I N. Live. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Well, I mean, we, both of us have two story houses, so you gotta go up a flight of stairs just to get to the flight of stairs that you go up to to yeah. get to the attic <laughs> before you even get to start walking them back down. Yep. And then the best after you finish all the stuff, I always kind of like feel like she's gonna forget, but she never does. At the end of the day, all right, we'll take all that other shit. Yeah, all up. the Thanksgiving stuff up. Gotta Crap. go. And the worst part is, I used to love love setting up my Lionel train. Oh yeah. And the girls love it and everybody, everyone gets excited. But now it's just more work. I'm just so tired. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I'm getting older. My dad has given me and my kids, you know, I have the big O size train, O gauge, like you do the big one that goes mm -hmm. around a tree. And I have a bunch of extra cars and track and whatever. But my dad has given, and I don't know all the gauges. They, there's a million different train sets. But my dad has given my kids no less than eight to a dozen train sets. And he's like, oh, I thought your kids would like this. Not open to one of them. Just shove them in the attic. Just thinking. Are they O-gauge Lionel stuff? Or no, is no, it like, no. Oh, like the little tiny ones? You yeah. know, the ends and the, and I'm like, <clears throat> shove it in the attic. Maybe in 50 years, you can take it out for your kids. Maybe it'll be worth something. Like I'm not opening every one of these damn things you give me. Yeah. Oh, speaking of like stuff that's worth a fortune. My dad has this this Bruce Springsteen box set that's like all the live. It's from seventy five. It's from seventy five to eighty five on on vinyl. Nice five records, and it's got all this great stuff. And my dad has one that's like unopened, and he's got one that's that he's got one that's opened. He's got one that's unopened. Oh wow! Let wow. me guess. Does it go like this? Back when Tommy and I were working on the docks. Oh. Two, three, four. That's about exactly right. <laughs> Only it's 75 to 85, so he's a little younger. So he's like, he's like, and that's when I remember my dad coming. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of dad stories. Yeah. But yes, <laughs> yes, you, you've, you've got it. And so I've always been like, how much is that fucking thing worth? And I walk in a record shop this past weekend. My wife and I walk in. And I'm like, no way. They have the box set and I'm looking at original it. unopened. No, no, no. It was, it was opened, but in great condition. Yeah. And I was like 20 bucks <laughs> 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 for five albums. I was like, I was like, huh? I was like, this is a really good deal on this box set. I was like, what do you think something like this would be worth unopened? They're like unopened. He goes unopened. He goes, I mean, they probably get 40 bucks. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what is happening here? I was like, why is this not worth more? I was like, this is amazing. He goes, you know, that thing hit platinum the day it came out. There's a gajillion of them. Yeah. 
But still unopened. There can't be that many of those. That's what I said. But he was like, nah, you'd be shot because it went platinum day one. He's like, there's everybody has this out. And you're like, but I want to buy like the new quote Nirvana album and it's 35. You know, like literally. Yeah. My wife bought a Stone Temple Pilots unopened yeah. for the same price that I bought five, you know, Bruce Springsteen <laughs> albums. <laughs> Like damn, yeah. They're that vinyl, that whole vinyl craze is like they got you. Like it's it's hot, and they can set their prices. Like a new album costs a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah, like it's ridiculous how much you pay for a new album. Like <laughs> absolutely, like you said, you could have something even open, but like you could have an original from the seventies. You know, like the original Bee Gees, Staying Alive. Something. It's so funny you said that. I go, hey man, you don't have. Uh... The staying alive, the, the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack yeah. around here by chance, do you? And he looked at me like I was crazy, and I was like, "No, you don't understand. More than a woman is more than a song." That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I need that in my life. When he more than a woman, yeah. Oh man, the Bee Gees. That's that's them at their peak. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry, I digress. Yeah. You, you made a, a comment about the one album I really was looking for. <laughs> that's that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I used to have a ton of albums. I got rid of them all when they told me that albums were gone. They got you. Yeah. You could have had $20. You. <laughs> That's what I've learned. You got to think, like, with the, with the onset of cassettes and then CDs and then digital, like, there really can't be that many original albums out there. Like, because... How many old people have died and you know since all that has happened where you're like you you end up with their records and you're like trash them like I don't want them chuck like, them yeah I, I chuck things constantly yeah but albums they're back and they're good I, I have this record shop I just found I, I couldn't have been more excited about because I keep finding them I keep finding they keep popping up right <clears throat> dude they're everywhere yeah like this town has and and you don't even think about it you have to go into a neighborhood. In the city. CDs still sell, right? I haven't seen a CD in any of them. I've seen so you, tapes and albums. Wow. So if I go in, I haven't been into a music store in years. So if I went, if I went into new music store du jour, downtown Richmond, they wouldn't have any CDs. No, new music probably would. Oh, okay. But they <clears> don't sure. sell you, there's no used CDs anymore? I mean, it. what I've seen lately is literally cassette tapes. Wow. And albums. I don't see used CDs anywhere. And the cassette tape section, you know, it's very small. Yeah. Compared to the albums. But I'm I'm shocked. Well, they degrade. Really... Like cassette tapes actually degrade over time whether you use them or not. But so does everything. Like my wife just bought this. No, a record holds its shape. Well, like... that's what I was actually saying. My wife just bought this Boston album. And you see this thing going around the corner and it's like wow. Well, I mean, but it plays. Yeah. But it probably had some heat put to it. Like, I think kept in a controlled environment. But I think the way cassettes are made, like, the magnetic uh, thing, dust or whatever they put across the tape, like, actually just falls off over time. Like, you can find an old tape that the tape will actually be clear. Oh, I didn't realize the color, too, would yeah. come out. But it is, yeah, it's like you said, it's held on by magnets. It's magnetized yeah. stuff, so it just yeah. it comes off. Sorry, but, uh, I was getting a text from the third mic tonight. Oh. Well, we started, we were supposed to start uh, 45 minutes ago. Yeah, we waited a little bit. Is he on the way? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. So there was a miscommunication. No. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm still, I'm still just running off the high that was Thanksgiving. That's so right, I'm like, yeah. We don't all, need a third mic. All turduckened up. The energy's good. And the fact that I just had that, that monster energy drink that I did not need. <laughs> that always helps. Those are always a bad idea at night. You're like, it won't it won't impact my sleep patterns this time. Jug, jug, jug. They don't do much for me. I think uh, it's a uh, placebo effect for me. But coffee's like that, too. For me, like for coffee to like give me a jolt, I have to have 40, 50 ounces of it. Like it's got to be a lot of coffee. I don't know what I don't know what my wife drinks, but you give me one of her coffees, you feel like lighting your head on fire. Oh, like it's, it's crazy, 
crazy. She walked into this place the other day, and they were espresso like espresso uh, shots and all that shit. Dude, there were three espressos in it. Oh, and she, no joke, looks at them like, "Should we go four? Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> "No, you yeah. shouldn't go four. Like, you're good at as three. little as she is too. Like, that's a lot of caffeine coursing through her. So, some of the best drug addicts have been little women. That's true. You know, if you that really run true. the numbers. Is that what that book was about? Little Women? Yeah. Yeah. yeah little Women's all about... Uh, I never read it. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bunch of bunch of crack addicts. Little Women. Nice. Yeah. Down at the bus station. Yeah. You know, doing whatever you got to yeah. do to get by to make sure that you can get some more crack. Being Little Women. You know, story as old as time. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, those Little Women, they can do uppers all day. Never come down. Good on them. Yeah. Little women, but that's my wife. You know, <laughs> she's looking at it like I need four shots of espresso. Yeah, it's like wow. I, I, I was, she, I have like drank one of her coffees before, and I'm like, what is happening? And she's an early to bed person. Oh yeah, I would think even that if she drank that at eight in the morning, she'd be up <laughs> sixteen hours later. She drinks morning. She's an afternoon coffee with espresso. Wow, she's all that shit. And then she, she lays in bed like. I just can't sleep. I can't figure out what's wrong with my system. I was going to ask, does she crash hard like when it finally does kick out of her system? No. She crashes hard on Friday. Yeah. But there's enough caffeine rolling through her body that like she'll just be up through the week. So she is basically one of those motivational posters that you see. She's a walking, talking <clears throat> Mondays are the worst. Caffeine, you know, whatever the cute motivational. Yeah. She's the hang in there cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she is With the hair on fire though Yeah there you go It's interesting That's not here nor there today Because today's the today. day after Thanksgiving it's, Today is the start of the holiday season Officially Yeah like Officially this is, If you started before today <clears throat> Fuck you Actually I have started before today Because You, you don't have any decorations up no, but you, you caught, gotta start. You gotta start like shopping and stuff. But you you caught me in here staring at my gut, like blowing it oh, out, well, yeah. it, blowing it out. I'm like, it's coming. <laughs> it's you're, you're Santa up. You're going Santa level. I mean, I've been cutting, cutting, cutting. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now we're here. Now time, to, time to fill it it's back. Winter up. time, and then we get to cut, cut, cut. Got to get ready for the winter season. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Gonna Dude, be interesting. So, I had an interesting thing to happen to me today that I've seen a hundred times in movies and sitcoms throughout my life, but I've never. <laughs> it was enough that I guessed it earlier, so I can't <laughs> wait for this. I'll play along like I haven't heard the beginning of this. Well, story. You haven't heard the whole. No, the I was going to say the beginning so, of this story. So my wife sends me a text, and you know how you can, you, you have an iPhone, right? So you know, like if you miss a voice, I have one of each. You can see, like, it transcribes it. Yes. So she sent me a screenshot of the transcribed voicemails. My younger son, my fifth grader, his teacher left a message for her saying, hey, da-da-da, your son is in a bad way. Everything's okay, but he's really upset. He accidentally threw his retainer in the trash can. Boom. At lunch today. Oh, well, the, on the tray then, yeah, the real stereotypical the real, yeah, way to do yeah, it. Took it out. And when, of course, when we got the whole retainer thing, it was like, carry the case in your pocket, put it in your case and put the case in your pocket. Never sit it on the tray. Ever, Absolutely. Because it will end up in the trash. And he's been good. He's had it for a few months now. And he's a scatterbrain type kid. So I'm actually kind of surprised it lasted. Hold on, hold on. Your teenage my younger boy? One. My, well, the younger one. Okay. So an eleven year old yeah, boy is having a 10, hard time yeah. focusing. Say, tell me more. This is shocking. Yeah, but you know both my boys, and you know like my older one is the opposite of that. So like we were kind of spoiled by him. Yeah, like we never yeah. had to work. Like I'd be like, "Hey, keep up with this. It's important." He's like, "Sir, yes, sir." And I I walk away and that's five precisely years later, my house. Yeah, the oldest is is just like just yep. like your oldest, and my youngest is. Probably somewhere <laughs> yeah. right now, not doing what she's supposed yeah. to be doing. <laughs> so I was off today, but I, I went in, did a couple hours worth of work. Then I went and had lunch and then went and bought a, pulled a, pulled a Brendan, got a, bought a new mattress today. Oh, I'm sure that yeah. was cheap. Yeah. I bought a nice one. We finally bucked up and we, we went uh, to divert for a second. We went and 
when we were mattress shopping, we went to the mattress place and laid on all the beds. And, That's the move. That's the and move. The, the, the A1 salesman was like, oh, check this one out over here and took us to the high M one. And That's right. We both laid on. We're like, this is nice. And then, oh, what? what's this? My head's being raised up. Oh, oh my feet's you. being raised he up. He showed you the base, the power base. Yes, which I had no intention that was not it's the uh, it's the upsell of upsells it takes the price from one number to double that number well i (laughs) kind of was well we got a traditional bed it wasn't nearly as expensive as you would as your bed as the because my bed's from space yeah so the the mattress was the 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 upsell for the power base like it was like uh 1400 bucks it's still a lot of money yeah, but like not com- that's not du- that's not du- what I paid for the mattress. I paid more than that for the mattress. What's it do? It raises the head, it raises the feet, yeah, do our, anything th- else. So there's like five different levels of like bases. <clears throat> okay. Like one just does your head. The next level does head and feet. So yep. that's the one we got. And then like the next one does head, feet and vibrates. And Oh, vibrates. Yeah. Sexy. And then of course you get up to where like you can have different head and feet controls. We didn't need all that. That's the beauty of sleep number. Yeah. Is you go in there and go, well, I would like the middle level. And they go, hey, how about fuck you? (laughs) There's either this down here, which does nothing except this one thing, or you get the best base. You get all of it. There was no, because I was like, oh, I don't really need the heated feet. That seems foolish. And they were like, well, if you was still want to be able to raise your head you have to you have gotta it. step up to the big one yeah. i was like well, what the what the hell am i doing here so it's literally there's the shit one and the absolute top of the line every bell and whistle and those are all the options in retrospect heated feet that does sound nice i especially now that winter's here yeah <clears throat> i literally am brushing my teeth hitting the app like get going bitch get them feet warm <laughs> <laughs> like I'll come in there. Even my wife, she goes to bed before me. She's always like, sits up. Did you put on the feet? Yeah. Because you just lock two hours. Leave it on all night or does it turn off? Two hours. That's smart because then you don't want to get hot. Yeah. You just want to. Once you're asleep, you're good. It's just that initial sliding in. Yeah. You want to slide in and feel like I belong here. You want to slide in where it's warm. What? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. Oh. So, so, uh, (laughs) so, uh. I wish I knew what these damn buttons did. So I just <laughs> so I just left the mattress store after spending a ton of money, and I get the screenshot of your son's just throwing away five hundred dollars worth of retainers. Yeah, mother. But I'm like, God, honey, we're going with the lower level yeah. base. Yeah, <laughs> skirt. Yeah. Turn it around. We'll hey, just Bob. Let's talk about that price. How you much just are got those up? boxes out back? Can I break those down and just lay on them? Yeah. So uh, I'm like, shit. I'm like, all right. So I ca- I'm like, I'm, I'm calling her. I'm like, can I just go to school right now and just, can he show me where the trash is? Like, they're just wrapping up lunch. So I get, I get, I go straight to the school and he's pulled and I get into the cafeteria and his teacher meets me at the door and we walk in. She's like, he's a mess. You know, he feels really bad. And I'm like, I see him. I come around the corner, and he looks like Does he looks snotty. He, he, he looks like his puppy just got run over. I'm just like, I, so I don't say anything. You to can't him. even yell at them. No. That's, it's the perfect defense mechanism. Well, and it's, show me that you care. Yeah, he cares. I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> but he's standing next to three trash cans. He's like, it's one of these three. So I'm like, I just start tying up bags. I'm like, I guess they're coming home with me. So, ah, oh, dude, it's flu season, and your hand was digging. I'm, I'm gross. Do you wash your hands? I have gloves on. Okay, thank God. <laughs> so, so I, uh, of course, I wash my hands too. I feel like I felt like I needed a shower after it. So oh, I, I would have put on a condom before I even started <laughs> tying up those bags. So I, so I, so I say to the custodian, I'm like, hey man, can I? I put all three bags in one trash can that's on wheels. It's like piling over, and I'm like. Can I run? Can I borrow your trash can and run this out to my Jeep? So I had the Jeep. So I get outside and I start pulling the trash bags out. One's ripped and just milk juice is running everywhere. So I have to throw them in the back of my Jeep. It's leaking milk all across the back Dude, of my Jeep. Milk juice. We used to call that unidentifiable liquid just cabbage juice because it kind yeah. of covers 
Because there's vegetable oh, there, stuff oh, in there. There's meat sauce in there. There dude, is, it was everything. There's in there. milk. Yeah, and then, dude. Every once in a while, you'll find some fucking kids retainer in there. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I get home and I go out to the patio in the back, and I got a glass top table, and I just take bag one and I just rip it open. I, oh, and I had to get a separate bag, and I'm like going through. Dude, the amount of food that these kids waste. I'm talking full cheeseburgers wrapped just in the trash. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, just unopened. Oh, this is good to know. I'm here to pick up the trash. <laughs> Un- hey, all you uh, health-conscious parents sending, like, you know, uh, apple slices in bags and stuff, that's just in the trash. Like, just, you could have fed a, a country with the three find bags any of food. uneaten cupcakes? Did not find, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any, all the Doritos bags were unopened empty? chips. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was weird. It's funny how that works. The yeah. apple slices. Yep. Oh, whole apples? Like, they must have been giving out apples today. Just entire apples in there. But What is it? So I dug through, like, almost two bags, and I find them. I'm like, because when I got there, I was like. You actually they? found the retainer. I did, but I was like, were they in your case? He was like, no, I didn't put them in the case. I didn't even say anything. I'm just like, all right, I'm heading out of here. Go back to class. Like, and I, it, it, it took. It it's take, my day off. Yeah. What am I going to do yep. with my day? <laughs> exactly, dude. Exactly. I got the whole day to myself. Whole glass top tables covered in that milk. I'm going to draw these curtains and I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah. I'm on my way to the school yeah. then to get the trash. So, yeah. And, and you know, you, you see, we all, you know, that's a trope that we used to see all the time. I feel like I haven't seen it in 15 years, but. That happened all the time in movies and sitcoms. Oh, 100%. It, dude, I've, I've come pretty close with just the damn Invisalign because you yeah. pop them out and like. Well, see, I've, it's all new to me because my parents didn't give two shits. Like, I never had braces or retainers. They were like, yeah. you, you, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. It was my, you know, dental fucking history. The reason I started carrying the case is because I would forget the case and then I'd have to like. I, I'll wrap them in a napkin yeah. and then stick the napkin in my pocket. And then when you take it off, the napkin's Bits all napkin. dried yeah. to it. And you're like, like you got something in your teeth. I was like, no, that's on the inside of my Invisalign. And that's a paper towel. <laughs> that, that brown paper towel. That's a nice little, it's a little uh, extra aftermarket thing I do to my Invisalign. It's quite literally the reverse of grills. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Little slivers of cardboard in my grill. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember Nelly singing about that one. No. Everyone gets diamonds. I yeah. get recycled paper. <laughs> George Washington would be like, ha, ha at least I got yeah. wood, dork. At least are wood to you. <laughs> yeah, you loser. Yeah, so that's how I spent uh, day one of my week off. So that's cool. I'm excited. Oh, you got the whole week off. Yeah, I took the whole week. Oh, you should be chugging energy drinks right now. You're up all night. We'll see. I'm tired. I didn't get a nap in today. I was too busy. I understand. Going through first world problems. Oh, quite literally. Yeah. Actually, no. That's more of a going through trash is more of a third world problem. But not guess, when it's full of food. Yeah, that's true. And the prize is a five hundred dollar retainer yeah. for dental health. No, yeah, that's that true. is a first world problem. That is true. Thank God he'd pick like the retainer. Like the body of it was like blaze orange. So like that helped. That's actually awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so you know which it wasn't one. like flesh colored or something. You yeah, know? you found some pink one, and you're yeah. like, "There's your retainer." He slaps it in, ruins his mouth. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I did. I took a picture of it, and I sent it to my wife. I was like, "I hope this is it." Yeah. <laughs> like I hope I didn't find or like because I didn't want to. I didn't. I made it through about a bag and a half bag. Like I hadn't gotten all the way through the second bag, so I was like, "I hope this is his," because I really don't want to have to keep going through more trash. <laughs> Hey, son, I want you to try on these three retainers. <laughs> See which one feels right. I wiped them off. You're good. It should be a small tug and push. Yeah. Anything more than that, take it out immediately. Yeah, they don't match in. Did the, your originals match in color? Or did you get two separate colors? What? <laughs> this mix and match retainers That's today. That's right, yeah. All right, let's see if that works. Bite into this apple I found in the trash, too. <laughs> see if your teeth can hold. And uh, on a separate note, I have dinner ready. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about these foiled uh, hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, kids, we're having cheeseburgers <laughs> and apples. <laughs> That's what we have for lunch. Yeah, <laughs> funny how that works. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, and, and then I got another first world problem. 
Now I've got three bags of the school's trash overflowing my one can at home. And of course, trash day is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. So, and people are coming to my house. So now I'm going, I don't know what I'm going to do with the, all the Thanksgiving trash. I was out of town last week. My wife forgot to take the trash to the curb and I pulled in. It's one in the morning, Friday morning. I'm just getting back from New York and I pull in and I see the cans up at the top. And oh like, no. And I was like, they must have just been highly efficient. Taking <laughs> they were the so, cans out. My girls take such good care of me. They already they brought them back. Drug them out and back in. Dude, I opened them both up and they were both already full. And I was like, the week hasn't even begun. The week of yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving. And then yesterday, what we have a thousand oh, people yeah. show up here? Yesterday, this big trash can got emptied early in the day. Early in the day, and now it's filling filling back up. Yeah. So I had to put that on top. I'm like, game over. Plus that giant solo stove thing came. That's right, yeah. Which, fortunately, I got that recycling was that I got all that out. That's good. That's always fun in the middle of the night. It's 20 degrees. Oh, yeah. You staggering forget staggering around with one eye open. <laughs> in the dark. Dragging boxes out to the curb. Only to come back and find that you forgot all these boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go do it again. And then, oh, styrofoam, do it again. I'm did, not efficient at the end of the night. Did you talk about the, the solo stove on the podcast? Your new solo stove purchase? We talked about the fact that I purchased the new yeah, so patio came in. meter. Came, came in, in early. This is why I love Solo Stove. Under promise, over deliver. They go, we'll ship yours December 5th. Yeah, yeah because you had said, like, when you, that's right, because when you initially told the story, it was like a great, like, the, the lead time was crazy. Yeah, they always do that. Yeah. And th that, that bad boy showed up on, on a Sunday, nonetheless, yeah. two weeks early. Wow. And they never sent me anything, no tracking, no email, no nothing. They're like, Yeah, because normally they're like, it's in the field. It's out the door in the field. It's yeah. on the way. It's they know if they just highly over deliver, you won't bitch. Yeah. And they did. Yeah, and we uh, had, a, had a dude put it together yesterday. That was the way to do it. I just yeah. kind of pointed at the man of the bunch. And was like, hey, buddy. Yeah. What tools does it say you need to put that together? <laughs> <laughs> you look like you would enjoy putting together a new solo stove heating tower. Yeah. That thing's good. It's a, I could tell you this much. The 10 foot radius that solo stove says that they can do. Yeah, that's a lie. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, you know, now that I'm team solo stove, I was trying to keep my, uh, my, uh, you know, my energy positive after we got it lit and it was a very cold day out here, but I was a little underwhelmed with the whole uh, amount of heat it put out. I mean, I, en I enjoyed it. I was, I'm glad to own it because it looks awesome and pellets it does look badass. pellets are super simple. That was the, that was, and I've never fucked with them. That was by far the coolest, uh, trait of the whole thing is the ease of lighting, the ease yeah. of, uh, fueling and the ease of maintaining that but the 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 dream how many of, hours did you get out of it i ran through that whole 40 pound bag and it went out right towards the end of the night so we went all day where we start around two two thirty maybe two yeah 30? two thirty ish yeah and i probably got to i probably got to like nine so you got a good six hours <laughs> And Which that is was exactly what? what it said. It said you get three hours out of a... 20 pounds? 20 pounds. 25 pounds, eight, something like that. And then you had a 40-pound bag, and that was what, seven, eight bucks? Six bucks. Yeah, that's... 648. That's not bad. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome, but don't let them... Don't, don't buy into the hype. That is not a 10-foot warming radius. No. It might be if it's 50 degrees out, but it's certainly not when it's 30s. I'm yeah, guessing. upper 30s. It was cold. And it wasn't that windy. No, I can only imagine it, how much wind If there helps. was a breeze, it'd be bad. Now, nah, they'll fix this thing. It's got a little tiny Yeah, the, the, roof the, the, at the heat top. reflector was not... One, it wasn't big, which kind of was a surprise. And it wasn't pushing much heat down. No, I think they're going to have to redo that over time. Yeah. But that 10-foot that radius is a lie. But if you're looking to burn 600 bucks, man... <laughs> that's a cool machine yeah like it looks awesome like it does there was a point at the night where i was inside i looked out and there's just a glow coming out of it just across yeah. the yard i was like that's really cool but i think i think it'll work just fine on the coldest of days when i have 
fifteen hundred dollars worth of solo stove <laughs> shit burning at full bore. I think it'll be warm. But I mean, for six hours of burn for six dollars, an hour of burn basically, like those either, both your solo stoves, either one of them, big or regular size one, like that'll roll through six dollars of wood and oh, and you're working. I mean in less than an hour. And you're constantly yeah. working at it. Yeah. This thing required no effort. Yeah, you you put half a bag in and then a couple hours later you put the other half bag in. Yep. Done. I walked away and started drinking. And it was easy to light. Yeah. So and I'll the amount of ash is crazy. None. Yeah. So Almost like, none. It does all the things that it says it's gonna do except for all the heat. That yeah. one's a little suspect. There's it's heat. Pro- you know what? We 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 expected too much because it was cold yesterday. It's that's to take the chill off. That's for a chill night. Like, that's yeah. probably a, for a 45, 50 degree night. You 45 can, to six, 60 degrees. But we were all still standing around it. Yeah. Like, we were still very much having to stand around it. I was hoping that this was going to be, oh, these people are hanging out over here. And these people, that's yeah. not what it is. It's just, it's heat and a four foot radius yeah. tops. I'm not, I'm not upset. It looks cool. And well, I there's no take backs, so <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And I did get it on day one. Like yeah. I, I saw the first initial reviews coming out today on like the in the Facebook. I am group. curious to see. What, oh, you did? What yeah. Did they say. I mean, people were people were pretty amped, but the general consensus is, hey, ten feet? Nah, that's not ten feet. Yeah. Like, that's you gotta you gotta be around it. But it's super dangerous. I mean, you see. Oh, hot. good God, man! Like I, I, I burned my fingers on it. Yeah, that thing. There was one point where I like went in and moved around a bunch of the pellets, and the 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 stainless steel metal part. Yeah. Was glowing red. Yeah. And we were like, oh, that's pretty dangerous. Yeah. But it was cold enough yeah, if that you when got that kids went, or something like pets, they just walk up to it and brush against it, like because it's hot top to bottom. That's the that's the one thing your yeah. feet are perfectly warm and that's something solar stove doesn't do so yeah. look it was okay <clears throat> it was okay i got something actually that'll warm us better than a solo stove i'm gonna jump ahead eight minutes okay because do you remember what i said to you i was looking for for a deli today you were looking for a holiday <clears throat> beer because it's now holiday season that's right and i found it look Did no you further know? i'm gonna go get it oh okay I'm really thrown off because we're doing a holiday podcast and we're still a week in over a week and a half away from the stash bash, which is usually the Friday right after Thanksgiving. So it feels like we're way early. It does. But what do I know? But look, holiday ale. I found it. (laughs) I got precisely what I was looking for. You did say holiday, and it does say holiday. That's a new Belgium, I think is what that said. That's a new Belgian, and it says right in it, flavors of cranberry and spice and everything nice. I mean, it's hitting the nail on the head. What could go wrong? Interesting color. Considering the success that I've had with cherry beers and... Lambics. I, lo- I want to like cherry beers. They just can't figure it out. I had one the other day at a place called Bear Chase. And it was a cherry. Where the hell's that? It's up in outside of Northern Virginia, like Percival area. Ah, uh, okay. By Monks. Yeah. And that was an excellent cherry beer. So they, they, they're doing one right there, but. Yep. Hand me one of those. Hand me a can. Like no, that. the can, the. New Belgium. I want to read the cam. Since you koozie yours up. I'm excited about this. It oh. is a 7.5. Did you know that? Yeah, holidays. <laughs> Turn it up to 11. Ale with cranberry, cinnamon, and natural flavors. Oh, snap, Troy. Oh, snap. It sounds delicious. It's better than it should be. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Oh, my. This, they took a note out of my favorite pumpkin beer that New Belgian does, Uh the Atomic Pumpkin. Yeah. And they applied it. It's good on the nose. To a holiday beer. I was expecting sickeningly sweet, like, nonsense. 
That's Ooh. not what I got. That's interesting. That okay. is. That's a lot going on in there. A lot going on in there. The cranberry is mad understated. Mm-hmm. Which is what I was mostly worried about. The cinnamon is almost overstated. Oh, there's the cranberry. Sip two, it popped in the, the cranberry back. cranberry's behind the cinnamon. I thought it was going to... Oh. To me, this cranberry works well off the ale. Ooh, what is happening? That is... Uh, this is not the take... Typically, you get a winter ale. You get these kind of... These nutmeggy... Like, this is just cinnamon and now, cranberry. Now, cinnamon usually disagrees with you, right? It dries you out. You don't like the... But this isn't drying out. The cranberry is keeping what, yeah. a little of that tart, which puts a little spit back in your mouth. Yeah, it does. It, it is a interesting, a, an interesting sour tartness to the finish. Heavy cinnamon on the front. Now it's completely changing by sip three. Now I'm getting more of that that fruitiness on the front, but the cinnamon still holding it together. It's almost like a fruit cake without the suck. That's one way to put it. You know? Because fruitcake does suck. Kind of sucks. Sucks a lot. Yeah. You get fruit in there you don't want. You're like, what are we going to do with all these dates? I like the I like the mouthfeel, the aftertaste. I do, too. I feel like my breath smells better. Yes. Which is not the case with most beers. No. This is like a take a sip before midnight on New Year's and kiss your gal. Exactly. Or guy. Oh, yeah. I'm not trying to, <laughs> I'm not trying to tell you what to do with the New Year. We're getting a whole month ahead. It's the holidays. It's that, the holiday. It runs through the whole thing. We've got our mustaches on. I like the can design, too. It's red with mistletoe hanging off the top, green mistletoe, and it's got the uh, Christmas ball. But you know what? When I decorate my Christmas tree, I like I like the ball. The standard? The st- I mean, you can have crazy stuff on it, but I like a, a Christmas ball. I bet you do. What, what are you saying? I'm saying you seem like a traditional guy. Yeah, that's me. You want balls? Balls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Traditional. Traditional Christmas. balls. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Couple balls in your yeah, hands. Couple. Just hang them off. Hanging the, balls. Yeah. Put them close to the bush. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. You get it. Little mistletoe. Couple balls. Maybe pull it back. Maybe get them close again. Yeah. I like the I like the uh, the bush that's like softer mm-hmm. versus like the one that's like prickly and like mm-hmm. hurts your hands. You know, that's what I like. That is, that's tasty. That's way better than I thought it was going to be. That is, and it's not seven. It's not seven five boozy. Damn it, Troy! This one's going to be interesting. <clears throat> it's hard to separate. The holiday from the beer. Usually I try to go, no, no, could I just drink it all the time? But it is a holiday beer. It is mm-hmm. a seasonal beer. And I think this time I'm going to allow that to play into my score. I like the cinnamon. I like the fact that the cinnamon is, is the main spice. It's not like overly clovey. They didn't go full Atomic Pumpkin where they actually add heat. They actually like intentionally put like spicy peppers in there mm-hmm. to kind of kick it up a notch. They didn't do that. They just let the cinnamon speak for itself. Yep. But the cranberry is so understated and it doesn't taste like fake cranberry. No. If I had to guess, that's real cranberry because real cranberry is just like a hint of tartness. It's actually yep. not a super tasty no. juice. You have to put a shit ton of sugar in it's there. More, to- yeah, it's more on its own accord. Yeah, it's definitely a uh, very understated fruit that's more sour than than sweet but we're used to the artificial eight cups of sugar in it i'm curious to see how high you're gonna take this you and me both dude because i'm staring at it and i keep sipping it and granted i've only had one beer today so it's not like i'm kind of in a good a good place to have this beer i'll say this you know, I haven't been, I haven't been drinking. I, I'd like to drink one of those. Yeah, I would too. I'm doing it. <laughs> but like, normally when we do these and I sip it, and we've had winners, I'm like, meh, 
I don't need to drink that. But like, I'd like to have one of those. That is it's, pretty damn tasty. No, it's pretty tasty. And it's this is going to do really well once I get that Christmas tree up. I'm glad that we have some of these left over. Yeah. Usually I'm not excited. Yeah, because you got a 12 back there. No, that's a, that's a six. Oh, is it? But it's... Uh, You'll be going back for more of those. Yeah. I'm, I actually think I will. In, in fact, th- I was looking at those... Uh, what did we get? Remember that 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 white stout, the dragon milk white stout that we got? Yeah, because you gave one to uh, the Duke yesterday, the Duke, and he was yeah. like he was like blown away. Oh yeah, and that has been one that I've been keeping in the fridge. And when people are like, "Any good delis lately?" and I've been tossing them that, and you're like, "You should be listening, you prick." Yeah, and but so now I was actually I was looking at them today. I was like, ooh, they had that. You were going to re-up on them? I was, but I was in the most expensive store. Yeah. So I was looking for some craft beer. Yo, Lucky Mart. Yeah. Expensive as hell, but man, what a selection. You're going to pay a premium. But this uh, this holiday beer right here, I would I would have to recommend to have around at a holiday party. I think I'd be willing to uh, put the old stamp of approval on there. I'm going to go four. Yeah. I would like to uh I would like to disagree with you. Oh, but I, just I, had another sip and the cranberry is like so it's right. It's I got, not I got, overly I got to go four. Wow. And I thought I might go four and a half. Wow. But that just seems ridiculous. Right? It it feels like it's a lot. It, I mean, that's a two fours is that's high. a solid score. Yeah. That's a deli. All day, every day. The New Belgium. The New Belgian Holiday Ale Limited Release Flavors of Cranberry and Spice and Everything Nice. It looks like it should suck. It does not. Now, you guys got to go out and validate this. Because I want to know. I want to know if it's just you and me. I think, I think you and I have been doing this long enough, and we disagree on enough. But I think the listeners would like this. Now, this is this is good. This I would isn't think bullshit. Even if you're not a big beer drinker, you would like this. <laughs> My wife's gonna like. Yeah, this. I was gonna say. I think women who like to drink wine would still like this. Or if you like seltzers, you'd like this. She's gonna. I'm gonna give her one of these tonight. Report back tonight. <laughs> yeah, Friday. <laughs> yeah, there you go. After the trees up, I'm gonna be like, I want yeah. you to try this, and I'll bet you. Do she- it while the trees going up. That's the perfect. Working around the house, sipping. Put it in a fancy glass. I can't wait to put that in a fancy glass. Mm-hmm. And I tell you, you want to get real crazy with this? I would like crunch up some graham crackers and oh, do a rim, yeah. do a rim job on there. Yeah, rim job. Yeah, it's the technical term. <laughs> <laughs> I like that beer. I liked it too. Good work, dude. Wow, didn't expect that. There we go. It's a holiday miracle. <laughs> We're starting off this holiday right. Only good vibes from here on out. I love that I went out to find a holiday beer in New Belgium. And I'm looking, I'm like, New Belgium. I was like, boy, I really like their stuff. And they're like, oh, this one? This, this one? one's just the holiday ale. That says holiday right on it? It's got a big Christmas ball on yeah. it. Yeah. Mistletoe? Yeah. Done and done. They should be proud of that. They should. I'm, I'm curious about that. Like, I You really- people out there that agree with the Atomic Pumpkin scores that have happened year in, year out? Yeah. If you if you even like that at all, if you can get behind that flavor, because this is understated from that. If you can get behind that cinnamon flavor that's in that, you're gonna love. I mean, this. New Belgium is the fat tire. I mean, that's like they put good beer out. They've done a lot of beers we've liked. Oh, my plan tomorrow to go back in time is to clean out these keg lines <laughs> and make sure that come Thanksgiving Day, there's some fat tire on here. Yeah, because that is the best autumn cold. Like, mm-hmm. I just love a fat tire. And then just something uber light. Yeah. On a kind of all the crap we're eating. <laughs> you might get a six of that. If they if I could, I would. Yeah. That's a but that would be an ass kicker. Having anything seven five in there. Oh yeah. That's a real quick way to that's black so eye. delicious you could get over your skis. That's, in what, I'm a hurry. that's what I'm saying. That's a black eye waiting to happen because you just like you're like, oh I can't believe I <laughs> fell into that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's painful. Why is everything horizontal? Man, that was good. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm happy. Oh, look, this is already your... Oh, speaking of fat, 
<laughs> I got Where's some more. Going? Well, I got some more updates on Ozempic. You know, I'm watching that drug. Yeah, like I am. I am watching that drug. I'm a in. Lot. I'm into that. You're into it. Yeah. Well, now they they're even they're even coming out with the part that makes Ozempic so good. They're actually getting one that's just been cleared by the FDA now. That's like that active ingredient before weight loss. Like it's not. So you're not depriving diabetics who actually this could save their yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Which is what most people are doing. But the run on Ozempic is legit. It's yeah, I think really I've actually hard. seen some articles pop up on it. It's getting really hard to, to get your hands on. Well, I finally got my first, like, this is the problem with Ozempic. Well, we called it, right? I mean, we kind of said. Yeah, you can't just. There's no free lunches. Like, you no. can't take X away and expect there not to be, you know, some repercussions there. So all right, I'm ready. What right, so is it? Here's the here's the the <laughs> easiest one. Out. And like, we, we yeah. Well, you all right? You got it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You just get up and there's a leather Cheerio sitting there. <laughs> you look, but you, you look in the mirror and you're like, damn, I look good. You look like there's a pink sock hanging out of your ass and just everything's blown out. Yeah, that's it, dude. That's it. But from the front, I look pretty. Fly. <laughs> I look looking great. <laughs> Yeah, tuck that thing back, tuck that tail away. That's right. So, well, for starters, we all we wondered, does the weight stay off? Yeah. Okay. So that's that's a great question. We need to know. So, hundred percent. Meaning, like, when you're done taking it, does the weight stay off, or do you have to take it in perpetuity? This is one of those drugs that you got to take forever. Now, if you can take it long enough to get a lifestyle change, yeah. Then you'll be. Or you're okay. like, I'm not even hungry anymore. Yeah, like I know that I can eat this much and be be satiated. Yeah. Satiated. So like, that's that's all I really need. You do that and maintain that, you'll be fine. Turns out that most people, as soon as they come off, those cravings come back. The food and you gain yeah. the weight back. So it becomes a drug you take for a long time. Which creates a whole nother list of problems. We don't have right? long term. Yeah, which could create, I should say, because yeah. we don't know. But there are early reports now of massive diarrhea. Ooh. Followed by just mind numbing constipation. Oh. <laughs> and that's uh, two different uh, sides of the spectrum there. Yeah. We're adjusting the gut <laughs> a couple different ways there. And. There's been people who have been getting violent vomiting. Ooh. So you got it coming out of both ends or not. Which, if you're really taking it for weight loss. Vomiting and diarrhea is one good way to lose weight. a great way to cut weight. Now, great. constipation, that's going to hold on to a little weight. Yeah. But have you, ever, have you ever come out of like a really bad like flu or food oh, poisoning? Oh, yeah. You're like, I lost seven pounds in 24 yeah. hours. All of a sudden, like you finally get up to the point where you're like, okay, I'm feeling better. And you go walking through that bathroom naked. Yeah. And all of a sudden you're like, I have ribs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's like you see that and go, yeah. all right, all like, right. I need to go another loop on the belt today. What's up? So the Ozempic could make you not feel hungry and also... You could be one of the lucky ones that gets a turbo charge right at the jump. It's cut seven, eight pounds from, from get. Explosive diarrhea and vomiting is just not a side effect. I don't know I'm willing to live with. It depends. Like, I can picture, like, so the rumor is Kim Kardashian took this before the Met Gala. She had to get into this, like, gold dress. Yeah. It was like a Marilyn Monroe dress. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was, like, on loan from some historical yeah. place or something. So she had to cut. Smithsonian. She something. had to cut, like, all this way to do it. <laughs> Well, it was, she got her hands on the Ozempic. And I bet in a situation like that where you're like, I have a goal. Yeah, a week or two, like. In three weeks, I need to be in this dress. It's like cutting weight for a wrestling match or a yeah. fight or something. So I got to believe that if you start getting explosive diarrhea and vomiting, you're probably like, ride this out. But like you work at home. So if you wanted to take it, you'd be like, all right, I'm well, going to walk 20 feet. I do the offload. cleanse. I do those cleanses. Yeah. I got like, a cleanse coming up field, in a month. What do you do? If you're in an office with like a no. shared bathroom with a bunch of people, like, dab, yeah, just make sure the Wi Fi is good. <laughs> you're, you're, um, you're working. Can I zoom from in here? <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Brendan, you should, you should be on mute. <laughs> this would be the first time someone's yeah. like, could you just, could you just yeah. mute your. <laughs> 
Hey, <laughs> you want to reschedule this call? Yeah. Nope. Don't mind me. Yep. I am just violently it's, crapping. It's going to be like this for a while. But I'm going to be shredded. <laughs> Hold on tight. That's right. <laughs> We're going for a ride. But that's the first, that's the first report. That's that the I've first. Seen of it. Yeah. The, the first. The, so meaning there could be more. There could be more, but and and this could just be someone with a weak stomach. Yeah, I mean, you think about it, like. But they interviewed everyone a couple affects people. everybody differently. Everything affects everybody differently. Mm-hmm. And we're all weaker than we used to be. Like hundred years ago, we could eat dirt and fucking live off of it. Now we're like, did that have a some weed in it? Yeah, <laughs> that's the. Uh, I think that's what the appendix. Do- I, I'm down for a week now. Like I ate a piece of bread. But that was, I think that's what the appendix did. The I thought they never was, figured out what the, the appendix did have a, a yeah, thing. Apparently. The, I thought it caught pennies or something like that. No, the appendix <laughs> is super dope at like helping you process raw meat. Oh. And so since we don't eat raw meat anymore, now the appendix is like, well, I don't know what to do. And so when that half cooked piece of chicken comes in, the appendix doesn't even wake up and do his job. Yeah. That's what I've read is, is what they think. Have you seen those people that eat like straight raw steak and stuff? Like the liver king? Yeah. Well, I've never seen him, but I know, I've I've <sighs> seen stories of him. Like he just eats straight raw everything. Do yourself a favor. Dude, shredded. Check out the liver king. That guy's a monster. Yeah, he's a beast. Just a monster. Never wears a shirt. I wouldn't wear a shirt. <laughs> Why would I be wearing? He's a got shirt? that like monster build where like he's got like a six pack, but like kind of a belly. Like yeah, kind of no, like kill like he's just swollen up like a tick all the time. Yeah, I guess he's just sucking on red meat blood all the time. Just literally eating testicles and raw liver and just like just eating it all. Speaking of testicles, I do not have the testicular fortitude to eat that shit. Like, there's no way I could just eat a raw fucking piece of meat. No, no. And this dude, this dude doesn't keep phones near him. Like he doesn't want his phone. Oh, to like, is he like uh, one he doesn't, of those conspiracy he doesn't guys? Use, he doesn't use soap or deodorant. He's like all that shit's put. In, so he just has a he just stinks like like a man would stink yeah. if he never showered and only ate raw liver. Oh, that's a that's, that's a, a musk. That who his woman is a goddamn badass. <laughs> And she just takes abuse. I'm yeah. sure. Oh God! Like he that's a man who never was like. Hold me or let's do it slow. Yeah. I don't think making love is in his vocabulary. <laughs> no. He's literally grabbing the mallet over the head like caveman style. Yeah. Maybe you want to make some pain. Yeah. And I think that's that's the M.O. Now, I have to say I can kind of get behind the whole like not showering and using deodorant and stuff like that. But on a certain level, like I definitely use all that stuff. But, like, we can overdo it for sure. Oh, yeah. There's chemicals and all that stuff yeah. that's not good for us. Yeah. For sure. But, like, I don't know. Maybe, like, take a shower and, like, rub some mint on you or something. Yeah. I don't know. Like, just something. Yeah. You got to do something, man. You can't just run no. hot water over yourself. Like, that's not going to be good enough. No. And he has, like, a beard and long hair and stuff. Like, Oh, he's a, dude, he's a monster. Yeah. And he's, he's hilarious. He, he's an animal. Literally. A wild animal. Yeah. No, like he could roll up on a bunch of wolves eating a carcass and beat those dudes away yeah. and then finish the job. <laughs> eat the rest of that carcass. Yeah. You know, like I couldn't do that. My appendix is not up to snuff. Do you think he's got the like pheromone thing kicking? Like in a good way? You know, they're always science is always trying to figure that out. There's like he swears. He's like, he's like, cause I'm so natural and I've got this dialed in and I'm in great shape. Yeah. He's like, Y'all think I'm kidding. He's like, but once they get over the initial like, whoa. Yeah. That dude's like power. Right. He's like, Women love me. But then yeah, I don't know how he, much I of mean, gonna, yeah, he's a also an internet guy so he's gonna say those but things part of me has to believe that there's some truth to that like pheromones are real there's no denying that yes so if you naturally embrace it yeah sure but like so pheromones are real but they haven't like figured it out 100 percent. but like no but we you know. and i like a girl who smells good it doesn't have to be natural no so because we're stupid so he's not, is what you're saying? No, he's he's got some stupid in him. But I'm saying, like, we've been 
conditioned. conditioned. But yeah. but look at the va- the what what was it vabbing. Oh, yeah, vagging. Remember, yeah, vagging, where you go in, yeah. you just you just get a little of your own juice and put it on your neck. Yeah. Like, we all agreed there was logic to that. You but, get that smell, as long as you don't smell it to the point that you go, oh, crap, that smells like vagine. Yeah. But if your nose picks up on it and your brain goes, hey, just so you know, uh, over there, like, that's real. Yeah, maybe a little vagging with a little bit of, like... Body wash that smells good, like yeah. a, like a little a little fifty fifty job. Yeah, like mix it in a little. Yeah. Like don't be overpowering. I'm sure he's overpowering. Yeah, but he's probably somewhere on the right track. Well, there's like, there's obviously you know a key for every lock. So there's definitely going to be a a group of women who are like, that's my jam. Like, oh yeah, those little women. Who are all whacked out on drugs, haven't showered in a while, and I'm at the bus station. They're I used bet he to that. could score for us. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like a guy that could get us what we need. You're going to not sell him the yeah, drugs? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, you're good, buddy. What do you need? I'm like, I'm not a clean freak by any manner, but like, if I get really sweaty or if I get physically dirty, I mean, I don't get dirty at my job. So like, if I'm working outside and get dirt on my hands and body, like, I want to wash that off. Like, or, that's just a... Say you have to dig through, like, three trash cans of, like, kid food. <laughs> exactly. You kind of want to clean yourself up. Exactly. No, I'm with you. I'm... I definitely... Yeah, I don't I don't want to be dirty, dirty. But at the same time, I'm not, like... I've got to shower twice a day. No. You know? If I, if I go a day without showering, it really doesn't bother me. I'll put some deodorant on. Yeah. But that that's about it. And I've been known to, like, go to the gym and just not shower that day. I don't, yeah. I don't care. I don't know how other people feel about this. I don't like climbing in the bed gross like that. I See, that wouldn't bother me from the gym, but like, say I like mowed the lawn or something. Yeah. So now there's like, there's dirt on Particles me. Particles and. Yeah, that, that, that bothers me. But I not your own sweat and stuff like that. Nah, yeah. like kind of like my musk a little. There you go. A little bit. <laughs> no, nah, it's the it's the particles of leaf and nonsense in your hair. Yeah, and like all the pollen and yeah. Like, have you ever gotten in the shower after like, especially this time of year oh, when you're yeah. like mulching leaves, and you get in the shower and all of a sudden just like a river of a dirt comes off, and you're like, yeah. dang, it was really gross. I yeah. came in the other day and I was in I was in shorts and a t shirt because we had like one of those nice seventy degree days, and I was I was mulching everything, and I walked inside and I was I was in my in my room and I was changing. And I did like a like a tap tap on the arms, yeah. And a dust cloud came off, like, like pig, pig pen. pen. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "You should probably take a shower, bro." Because I was just gonna put on something and go. And I was like, "No, no, you are filthy." Yeah, or like you come in and cut the grass, and you had like socks on, and you're like, "I don't look bad." And then you like rip your socks off. You're like, "Oh, my foot yeah. is a totally different color than my leg." Yeah, and you see the <laughs> poof, poof yeah. you come out. You're like, "Oh, all right, I've done yeah. something wrong." I here. am filthy. Apparently, I'm fairly gross. <laughs> well, not compared to the Liver King. Yeah, that's you. Hey, pussy, you look like you're going to go take <laughs> yeah. another shower. Like, yep, now I'm going to get some of this laurel sulfite all over my body. Saving all that <laughs> money not showering and uh, using soap and shampoo. Yeah, I'm sure you get a good deal on raw liver. I have always thought that, like, if you have short hair for your dude, like, you don't need to wa- use a ton of chemicals in your hair. You probably don't. Now... I understand why girls do it. I understand why guys with a lot of hair do it. But, like, if you've got a short dude haircut, like, hot water should do the trick. Because you don't want to wash the oils and stuff out of your hair. Well, it's known that you're really not supposed to wash your hair every day. Yeah. I mean, that's it's been pretty well proven to this yeah. point that that's damaging. But that doesn't stop anybody. No, because then I'm like, oh, I should. But I, I've noticed, <laughs> like... If I don't wash my hair for a couple of days, I actually like the way it lays. Yeah. And like the stuff it does is yep. just just kind of cooler. It's got more yeah. body, does more weird shit. Then you strip it all out. Kind of like, stays in place a little better. It absolutely does. Yeah, it doesn't get all po- poofy. I can always tell when my wife hasn't like washed her hair for like three days. Because then all of a sudden she's got curls and waves. Yeah. And then all of a sudden that's gone the next day because that's like her <laughs> sign. Yeah. She'll like wear it, but I'm like, oh, your hair looks dope. And she's like, yeah, that's because it'll hold all this crap. Yeah. Like I can do this, but now I got to wash it because I've gotten to the point where it will hold. Yeah. Fair enough. At least there's a, she's got a litmus test there. She's like, oh, 
hair washing time. Time to look how good I look. Let's dumb it down. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> Just another thing girls do for themselves and other girls. Yeah, like I'd be down. Like all the nail thing, I don't get. Like nails don't turn you on. No. Nah. Oh, dude, I I like nails that I would never bring home to mom. I can see where it would turn you on, but like if it was an all day, every day thing, no, like no, no. But I'm saying there is something about like like a pointy nail. But there's a fine line too, right? Like too long, and you're just back out again. You're like, oh That's yeah, ridiculous. If, if, if you're if if the Guinness Book of World Records, well, obviously shows up. Like I'm I'm not I'm not in. But no, I kind of there's something about awful nails that I'm like, hell yeah. The more vibrant the color, give me patterns and like lines and geometric shapes on there. Give me some weird shit. I'm like, yep, I'm in. Like, Oh, I, you like it? Like yeah, all I think done up. Yeah. I think that's sexy as hell. Unnatural as hell. Oh, but, but I wouldn't want to take that home. Like I wouldn't want to date that. Yeah. But, but you wouldn't want to take it home. There's <laughs> something. No, I mean, I grew up in the country. So like trashy women, like do it like too much hair going, you know, gel and you know yeah, like, too much makeup and that 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 does get me going a little it's for kinda, sure. It's kind of awesome. like I would not want that like on a regular basis. No, what a horrible decision that would be. Yeah, you're constantly paying for those nails to get to because you know that takes a boatload of maintenance. Oh yeah, like there is nothing good about that, but it looks good. Like coming into a party, <laughs> I'll be yeah. honest. I'm like, yeah, I kind of dig that. I just don't want to, like I said, I'm not taking it home to mom. You don't care what your mom thinks, do you? Everybody always says that, but do you really care? Yeah. Do you really care? Like, I broke up with a girl because my mom never stopped bitching about the girl that I was like, man. But now, granted, my mom was the first to start bitching. Soon thereafter, all my friends started bitching. Does your mom put your wife on a pedestal? Like, does she think she's everything and perfect for you and... A wonderful no. My mom's pedestal and my wife goes the other direction. It goes down. Yeah, like it's, that's what I'm saying. And you don't care, like no, not at this point. Like that's that's different. But I guess this it? this one in college, my mom really did get to me after time. But it was like it was only after like my friends started complaining. Well, then that makes sense. I would take she was complaining. Your your parents are irrational. Well, they they think you. Your parents see you as better than you are. Yes. So they have you on a pedestal. Yes. Where they're like, but honey, you are the best looking, nicest, sweetest, smartest person in the world. In the entire world. Yeah. Like there is nobody. Look, and it has no direct reflection on the fact that you're my child. Obviously. (laughs) Yeah. That's what they think. That's what they think. But that's, that's all parents. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, man. My girls, they just never lie yeah. as they're lying. Yeah. You just kind of... You don't buy... You, no, you you know that. You know better than to do that. I have figured it out Yeah, that my girls lie. I definitely look back at like, especially my firstborn. When he was born, I thought he was just the cutest little kid. And now like I'll have memories pop up and I'll be like, you, he was not... The, he was not the handsome little baby I thought he was. I don't think anyone's babies well no of course i think babies are gross no but i'm even talking like one years old like you know a a toddler yeah they're just you just see it through your lens yeah they're they're all little dirty nasty little creatures yeah now some of them grow up to be very attractive and some of them grow up to not yeah it's just life (laughs) some of them are growing up fast because i saw on facebook all the homecoming pictures oh and I was, bl- did we talk about this on here? I don't, I don't think so. But I was blown away by what some of these young ladies were wearing. I was like. It's shocking. Holy, and holy shit. Like, I was like, literally just scrolling through my phone. And I'm like, I would have thought that was a college, a college girl, not a ninth grader. You it's know, heartbreaking. Like, I'm just like, and then the parents are like, look at my beautiful daughter. I'm like. Like, bro. I'm like. Let's t- tone it down a little. Yeah. No, it, I, I've gotten to that age where I can no longer tell, so I just don't look at it. They're all gross. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Everyone's off limits because I just can't tell. I'm just like, <laughs> you You know you know, your daughters are going to, not your, I'm talking about just parents, you know your kids are going to oh. go through an issue. We don't need to 
start that those issues earlier in their childhood. Oh, I've got one daughter that's going to be. She she already I'm like I'm like what are you wearing? She's like <laughs> I just like that I yeah. like it I like it short like that and I'm like yeah. boy, like all right I'll just deal with that for the next ten years. Good times. But I mean, what am I? What can I do? Uh, you cannot let her wear too revealing stuff. Yeah, sure. But if that's naturally like, like she literally that's like what she likes. That's what she's comfortable in. I'm. She's gonna go put that shit on. She's gonna do that shit. That's going to happen. I know in this it's life. a hard fight. Like, yeah, you just have to eventually just yeah. be like, all right, that's what's up. I'm always floored that what my kids wear to school on a daily basis because, like, I would have been mocked relentlessly for walking out the door looking like these fools. Well, teenage boys don't dress well. Yeah, but when we were kids, like I was poor, so like of course I didn't. I yeah, didn't. I had my six outfits. Yeah, and like <laughs> I tried to like match colors, you know, like put things together that look like they go together, and like if I was lucky enough to get a name brand something, that shit was on heavy rotation. But like, just the fact that like Crocs are the fucking just coolest thing that kids wear yeah now. what the, that's the worst yeah like it's my kids basically look like they're wearing pajamas every day i mean it's just yeah, athletic chill. shorts and sweats and t-shirts that don't fit and don't match whatever color pants and shorts they're that's wearing it. i remember in seventh grade i bought this shirt and it was well everyone everyone who knows the show will, will know what i'm saying it was my favorite blue and black rugby shirt uh-huh which apparently was purple and black. <laughs> but I got this shirt and was like, this is the baddest shirt ever. And then I, I wore this. Rugby shirts were the tits back Hell yeah. No, that was, that was the real deal. But it had the rubber buttons on it? I don't remember if it had the rubber buttons. That meant it was a real rugby shirt. It was a real rugby yeah. shirt. You pull on it. Well, and you wouldn't, get, it wouldn't dig into you yeah. you got tackled. So I had, I had this nice rugby shirt, purple and black. To me, look great. And the louder they were, the better. Yeah. Like, the more obnoxious they were. Like, a plain color one was lame. No, you can't have that. Yeah. But so I rolled into, uh, I remember I, I wore it for the first time. And it was it was a Thursday. And I rolled into choir. Yeah. And I remember just, Joanna. Just stepping in like you were just. Just, I'm just a man. Oh, yeah. And Joanna comes up. Joanna. <sighs> Joanna. And she's like. I love that shirt, Brendan. You look so good in that shirt. You're like, bam. I'm like, exactly why I put it on this morning. You got to be kidding me. Like, yeah. I just got a compliment from like the hottest girl in the class. I'm not talking more than a minute later. Randy comes over. Fucking Randy. Because Randy saw that Joanna yep. liked me in it. Haters going to hate. And he looks at me and he's like, hey, nice purple shirt, douche. And <laughs> Hits me, <laughs> hits me in the arm so hard. Fucking classic that, Randy. That I just, I just crumbled, you know? And I'm just like, oh, it hurts so bad. Because Randy was big, man. Like My he purple was, rugby didn't yeah, save me. How could it not have saved me? <laughs> but so then, I'm not kidding. Every Thursday for seventh grade, knowing that I would go into choir. And see Joanna. Randy would beat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and Joanna would think I was cute. And you were happy to do it. Happy to take my whooping That's right. every Thursday. And it without I'm talking like wake up on Thursday. Mom! Where's yeah. my rugby shirt? <laughs> I'm not going to school. I need my rugby shirt now. It's important. Today. Yeah, where is it? It's oh, got, I remember that. It's got yep. mustard on it. Well, I'll wear it inside out, but I'm wearing <laughs> right. the shirt. Like scrub it out in the sink, Mom. Yeah. There'd yeah. be mornings, it'd be six in the morning. I'm scrubbing the rugby shirt. Yep. Like, we're wearing the rugby shirt. Oh, yeah. And I did it every Thursday, man. I yeah. would, I would, I knew, even if Joanna didn't say it. Yep. I knew she thought you I looked good. You knew she loved that shirt. But the tricky part was, Randy never missed an opportunity <laughs> to remind me. Randy, you're batting a that, thousand. Take a day off. Yeah. Randy <laughs> never missed. Purple <laughs> shirt again, dork. <laughs> Pop one up to the infield, strike out. Why? Nah, <laughs> not Randy. <laughs> Joanna forgot to compliment my shirt ninety five percent of the time, but I knew. Yeah, and Randy beat my ass and told me I looked like an asshole, and I could somehow block that out because of the one time Joanna was like, "Nice shirt." Randy liked that shirt, didn't he? Randy, Randy liked me because, but he hated me because I could sing. 
I was in the choir. I wore the purple shirt. Yeah. The girls like me, but see, that's all the things Randy doesn't like. Yeah. Randy doesn't want the the singing little choir boy who the girls like. Yeah. So Randy beat my ass. That's fine. He was jealous. Oh, in the end. Yeah. Yeah. But at the time, I was just like, boy, Randy really doesn't <laughs> like me. It was only right. later in life that you develop confidence and go, oh, you know what? I was actually kicking ass. That's yeah. why he was beating me all the time. Randy was probably catching a beating at home. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't doubt it because he had a lot of anger. <laughs> I had a lot of bruises. <laughs> Fucking Randy. He wasn't my guy. Randy wasn't my guy. Yeah. And my kids put zero thought in their outfits. Like zero. Yeah. I would not go a Thursday. Yeah. I'd rather fake sick and stay home before I didn't <laughs> wear that purple and black rugby shirt. By the end of the year, Brandon, was, you weren't here yesterday. You had my purple shirt. Wasn't well, clean. You get it right. By the end of the year, I'd never seen a more faded shirt. Oh God, yeah. Just getting washed every week. Yep. Oh, she was a beaut, though. <laughs> totally worth it. She was a beaut. I honestly, and in my mind, it was worth the, it. The things we do for the chicks' attention, we want. Yeah. That was it, and, man. And that's, that's on the on that spectrum. That is way down. Wearing a shirt because a girl likes it. That's not even stupid. That's not considering what as what we, we do age, now. Yeah. Oh yeah. As we age, bro. I have never asked for a promotion because I wanted something. I was like, boy, that girl is not talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I have. It must be that I'm. I don't have enough money. Yeah. Uh, boss, I need a promotion. Why? Uh, Joanna um, <laughs> likes the purple shirts, and I can't afford purple color of royalty, boss. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. You would know. <laughs> You're upper management. Exactly. Hook a brother up. <laughs> come on, dude. Like, come on, look. <laughs> You're doing great. And somewhere he's sitting around going, oh, what am I going to do to get that girl? <laughs> <laughs> yep. You know? Yep. He's like, I got it. A Porsche 911. And it's never enough. It's never enough. In royal purple. Yeah. Oh, I should have gotten the turbo. <laughs> Shit. Yep. Because she just went home with Todd. Yep. <laughs> Can't win. Can't win. Yeah, happens. I've been taking Ozempic. I've been wearing purple <laughs> shirts. Just crushing life. Oh, dude, there was one more topic. If we want to talk about uh, drugs and FDA. Food and Drug Administration just cleared for the first time. This got sent in by a listener for the first time. They just approved a lab-grown meat, like officially. Oh. They're like, this is all good. And they're taking it. They, what they're doing is they're taking biopsies from, like, say you already slaughter this cow. Uh-huh. You biopsy that shit, and then you can just spurn it up into this lab-grown meat. And so you can just keep making that meat in perpetuity. So, like, if you have, well, I guess that wouldn't work. Because, like, a cut of steak is, like, aged and there's, like, processes. It's not really that the cow was some great cow. So that's what I was wondering Or there's got to be better grade cow, right? There has to be better grade cow, but a lot of it comes down to what you eat. Like, I've heard, like, if you take, uh, if you feed blueberries to a pig. Yeah. For, like, a while. You just feed that bitch blueberries all the time. Then you can actually get this pork that'll have, like, a natural. Blueberry. Blueberry flavor to it. Interesting. Which is awesome. So how do you fix that in a lab-grown environment? Like, you're never going to be like, oh, this is grass-fed. Versus yeah, that's ate, true. It ate some bullshit. But Unless there, it's a genetic thing where, like, if you get, like, great genetics. But there has to be some where you're just, like, yeah. meat naturally in the, this cow or this, this lineage. What do you think the liver tender. king will say about this? Oh, he is not pleased. Yeah, he cannot like this. So do you feel comfortable eating lab-grown meat? Look, man. I live a weird life. I am anti-big government, and at the same time, if they say it's okay, I'm probably going to do it. <laughs> I mean, the stuff I put into my body that I'm okay with. Like, so initially, yeah. an, initially when I heard this, I'm like, that is disgusting. If there's meat, why would I eat the, la the lab room? But like... Yeah, it's grown in a petri dish. But like, I Doritos, where the hell do they come from? You know, like the corn. They just they yeah. just. Oh yeah, it's just corn. It comes right off the ear. Yeah, the Dorito <laughs> corn. You're like this field over here is all Cool Ranch. Yeah. Very nice. We have a hybrid. Ooh. <laughs> cool, ranch, cool Ranch Nacho going on over here. Say it ain't so. Yeah. You fancy. I mean, farmers. I would give it a shot, right? I mean, 
At first, when I thought about it, I was like, ah, I'm worried. Like, maybe it's not good for you. But then I'm like, what quality meat like is in a McDonald's burger or a, you know Taco Bell taco anyway? I mean, they always say what Taco Bell. The rumor it's a great D, yeah. right? Yeah, it's like one step above dog food, pretty much. So the lab grown meat, and I'm sure it's, I'm sure there's dog food out there that's way higher quality. Oh, guaranteed. Yeah, with the way dogs are these days. Oh yeah, come on. Shit, you know there's people out there that give their dogs bottle water. Absolutely. I dude, I I made the mistake of giving my 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 last dog. I started putting ice cubes in his water. Oh no. Just because I had ice cubes, I was like dumping it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It got to the point. It didn't take long. Yeah. Probably gonna give it like like six, seven days. It's like looking at it. We had you, ice like, and he's looking at it like so this water's like 72 degrees, dude. <laughs> yeah. What am I supposed to do with this? This is the same dog who was drinking, you know, just puddles with with antifreeze oh in yeah him. and he was like oh this is so good dad now he's like um yeah, you got that low spot in your driveway that the dog that's loves what i'm it. saying they yeah. love this and then all of a sudden he's like, like man i need them ice cubes like they will adjust <laughs> quickly taking this paw and scratching his neck guy more than ice cubes yeah he's like is this lab growing you son of a bitch <laughs> yeah. but i'm like i'm like seriously now kind of intrigued because now that the fda has cleared it and they say it's safe and we're good to go we're not far because I've tried like the plant-based stuff. Yeah. And what ridiculous level of processing and nonsense oh, yeah, do I have to go? Oh, yeah, that stuff is processed all to hell and back, right? I took soy. Yeah. And I turned it into the consistency of meat and ground beef and it's colored Sounds like gross it. when you even say it. The Impossible Burger 2.0, the first one, didn't bleed. Yeah. By the time they got to 2.0, one of the things they fixed was when you bit in, red juice would come out. And they were like, see, it's bleeding. And that like, whole what? that whole angle just confuses me with the vegans when they're like, it's not meaty enough for me. Yes, don't eat meat. But I need my fake meat to be meaty. Yeah. Like, no. hold on, wait, what? Go screw. Yeah, get out of here. So what about a eat vegan? Your cardboard. Why would a vegan not eat lab grown meat? I didn't have to kill anything. I'm sure else. there'll be a moral high ground soapbox that they can jump up on. It's like everything. It's like if you know anything, and by anything, I mean just if you have two brain cells to rub together, if you think about what goes into farming vegetables and produce, when they till up hundreds of All thousands that of acres of land, yeah. you are killing so many animals. You are affecting the lives of so many animals that live in that at the, at the soil level, and even animals like m mice and rabbits and other oh, definitely. small animals that live on that level. They get chopped up. They get destroyed you know they get affected their food gets affected but like i hadn't really thought about that i mean the amount of moles and squirrels oh, yeah. and rabbits and everything that just get and, destroyed yeah, yeah for the sake of you know corn yeah yep that's like, fantastic see i need free range corn. They, oh and then you just had just think of the numbers of insects like i mean how, how many you know insects are there in an acre of of earth I mean, you tell me. Go take a shovel and just dig up oh, yeah. some soil, and you'll find a ton of worms. Yeah. And grubs and nonsense. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Death's all around. But don't eat the one with the cute face. So then the best one is the lab-grown meat. I mean, in theory, right, if we're going to go down that route. I mean, this cow died. This one cow died. We, we can make 100 other it. cows. And now, now you never have to get, you never have to kill another cow. What do they make it out of? I mean, you can't, it doesn't get made out of nothing, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know what chemicals you have to put in for nature. To again, no go, free lunches, right? In nature. So there's got to be odd, something. Man. Like, it's, there's got to be, there's got to be something. There's got to be a negative side to that. Yeah, just excessive boners. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> now, I mean, I would definitely try it. Like, I'd like to try a hamburger of it, and then probably I'd like to try a steak cut. And then if I could try both those, that's kind of two different. You well, know. I think steak is probably the the one I, I certainly want to want to try because that's going to be like they're not you're not covering it up. Yeah, a burger you cover you're, it up with all can, kinds of shit. You blend, you know, it gets ground, so you're kind of changing the consistency. Like of you it. have an Impossible Whopper. I've not touched any of that impossible shit. That impossible Whopper. Because every time I go to one of those places, I'm like, you have Whoppers. 
They're yeah. like, yeah, we got those. I'm like, well, let's just do that one. I had to try it on principle. Yeah. And I, I had to try it. The I did not try it on principle. The mayonnaise and all the craziness on it. it tastes like a Whopper. Yeah. Like, it's really difficult to tell the difference yeah. because of all the other crap. I would. I mean, I guess I would try it, but like, it just, I'm like, I'm eating Burger King or wherever the hell you're getting this impossible. Cr- like, they're cooking it on your same grill. Like, what are you yeah. people thinking? All right, I give you, here's an impossible Whopper. Here's a lab-grown Whopper. You got to have one. Which I, one I'd be more to? interested to try the lab grown one because I'd be, I think I'd be more inclined to eat that one on a regular basis. Like I'm never, you're never going to sell me on the impossible. Meat no. Cause I'm, or the I'm beyond me. Like I'm, I'm just concerned not, about what you had to do to get it to that point. Yeah. And when they went to the it's 2.0 gotta be more processed than the lab grown meat, right? I mean, the lab grown meat in theory isn't really that processed. Like yeah. once you get the, the process going yeah, where now it's just, Growing, growing in, in the petri itself, dish yeah. yeah then it's like okay we're growing meat yeah i think i'd want to try that yeah i'm just afraid that you know the, the constipation and diarrhea and vomiting <laughs> is gonna be uh do you have an ozempic lab room burger i could try Ooh, that sounds just good get two birds one stone just get it all out of there you eat that lab grown shit your appendix wakes up immediately <laughs> oh finally we're back <laughs> Oh, man. I've been waiting for this day. Yes. My whole life. You finally did it. Yeah, I, I think I'd have to try it. I would definitely. But I'm very concerned about what the, uh, what the ramifications of such a, such a meat really are. Do you trust the government when it says it's good? For the most part. Yeah. I don't think there's a whole lot of incentive to steer me wrong. No. But... There's a there's a huge percentage of our listeners just went, oh, uh, you would yeah, say that. Of course. Yeah. Moron. Yeah. That's why they're going to control your brain. You guys think the Earth's curved too, don't you? <sighs> what kind of a sheeple <laughs> thinks the Earth is round? That, I can't get yeah, behind that. I cannot. We don't condone that here at ITPA. No. This, we, we all know the truth. It's flat. <laughs> don't get it twisted. I was a little confused when we couldn't find a flat spot to put the solo stove. That's right. Why is it? Yeah. Why is the ground undulating over here? Yeah. Ugh. Flat just doesn't mean what it used to. <laughs> it doesn't. It's 2022. Totally different meaning. That's ridiculous. Yep. I'm interested though. What did it? Did the article say if you know when it's coming to where they're like? Is it? So it got cleared. Yeah, but like, is it going to be? At restaurants, is it gonna be you gonna be able to buy it off the shelf at the store? Like, yeah, as of right now, it's just been cleared, saying it is it is safe to eat, safe to grow, but they haven't gotten to the point where they're producing it for the masses. Like, they finally had to get the stamp of approval. You gotta think like now we can start ramping up. Tyson or somebody's gonna be in this game, right? Like, there's gonna be a clearly. I think within the year, that would be my guess. By the time we do the next Thanksgiving episode, we'll have a. A lab-grown lab turkey. At least a lab-grown turkey breast. Yeah. Because I don't think you can get it to shape right unless you, like... It won't have bones in it. You put it inside of, like, a mold that looks like a turkey, and then, like, it grows yeah. into the mold. That's kind of foul. Yeah. Then again, we eat just weird stuff that's not food. Like, we're so cool with eating not food. Yeah. It's it's crazy. We process yeah. a bunch of chicken, put it in the shape of a dinosaur, and go... Mm, Delicious. Natural. Or you're just like, yeah, that's Snickers bar. I should eat that. Like, wait, what? Well, nougat's from the earth. <laughs> it's got to be, right? All those nougat mines that our great-grandfathers used to work in. I think I got the nougat lung pop. <laughs> <laughs> that's how my great-great-grandfather went. Yeah, that makes perfect Too sense soon. to me. Yeah, I mean, I bought some... Uh, like Reese's Pieces the other day. Like, I like, I like this candy, and then it's like... What part of this is food? <laughs> like, Dude, you see this table of unprocessed food over here? I know, here? Look yeah. At all this nonsense. I was eating those peanut M&Ms. Like it they looks going delicious. Style. Oh. Throw those in the fridge because they're even better cold. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. I haven't found a candy yet that I'm like, <laughs> I regret putting that in the fridge. Exactly. It's so good. It okay, is. Okay, I'm down. Yeah. I just got to wait a few days. I got to get through. I'm going to wait till Thanksgiving before I start diving into that <laughs> pile of shit again. You know what you do at Thanksgiving? It'll look awesome. Just get a bunch of bowls and pour all that shit in, and it'll look like you like Went set all up out. this awesome like uh, little snack table. 
charcuterie board. Yeah, there you go. Just like the opposite of a charcuterie board. Real quick. This shit's a meat and cheese tray. The shit's been around forever. And then like two years ago, charcuterie came into our lexicon. And now it's like, yeah. oh, I love charcuterie boards. Like, motherfucker, I've been putting Ritz and cheese crackers out for fucking 20 years. What are you talking about? But this is what we do. We change the name of it. We go, it's a Lunchable. Kids go, fuck yeah. Yeah. We go, it's charcuterie. And women and go. parents go, fuck yeah. I'll take some wine. <laughs> you know, yeah. No, forever. It was just meat and cheese. Yeah. Which made perfect sense because yeah. everyone likes meat and cheese, but you got to dumb yeah, but it like, down. No one ever would be like, oh, shit, you got a meat and cheese cheese tray out? That's awesome. Now but as like- a little kid, I used to just cut cheese and get some saltines. <laughs> yeah. And I would just eat that oh, shit yeah. all day. And I'd all be day. like, oh, yeah. this is great. I didn't know I was a charcuterie guy. Exactly. Or a Lunchable guy. Neither one existed. Nope. Same thing, different words. Yeah. One's French and one's craft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but now it's the hip thing to do yes so i do want to give a quick plug okay quick plug here for m4k it's this is the day after thanksgiving everybody out here listening to this for the most part i know some of us are having rough years and i'm not i'm not speaking to you right here but i do i do want to say that there's a lot of kids out there who don't have a lot to be thankful for this year. They've either had, either had cancer, they've had a difficult year, they don't know where their next meal is coming from. Probably today wasn't, or yesterday probably wasn't that great for them. There's kids who don't have a home over their head and they're living with their parents out of cars. And like, like these, are, these are the kind of children's charities that we're trying to, we're trying to help. You know, there's some, some kids who've lost their parents this year and they, they need help right now. And they don't have, like I said, they don't have a whole lot to be thankful for. If you've got a lot to be thankful for and you feel like you're in a generous mood entering into the holiday season, we still have one week left of, yep. of, of growing and trying to raise money for these children's charities. If you head over to m4krichmond.org and then it says donate to a grower, find the Inside the Pallet House team, and you will see all of us guys that are trying to raise money for these charities. You can pick one. Click on there, donate some money. It pick, all goes pick to Pick one a who's cost. close to making it to $1,000. That's true. We do need help getting some people over the hump. Yes. Because that's always our goal. Raise $1,000. Everybody raise $1,000 and we got some stragglers. Don't waste your time. We're not Marines. We're leaving some men behind this year. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to. We don't have a choice. My wife was like, we don't have enough money to get everyone there. I'm like, don't you worry, honey. I'm aware. Like, Yeah. Because like, last year we dropped a lot of money right at the end because but people, it was people were, were trying. People were in 150 bucks away. Yeah. You're like, you're gonna have to drop 50. I'm gonna drop 50. We're gonna have to yeah. recruit someone else to drop 50. Yep. We gotta get this dude out. But like I can't donate five hundred dollars no. to somebody. Or eight hundred. <laughs> I mean, I I could, but I can't do it for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. guess is the bigger problem. Yep. I'm I'm very far from my goal. I put myself with a a, a lofty goal, but not like a crazy lofty goal. Yeah, I put I put a really big goal in it. I'm not gonna hit it, but I still want to try. What was your goal? Ten grand. Mine was twenty five hundred. Yep. And I just crossed the halfway mark. The last week is the giving week. It is, and that's why I'm making the plug yes. now because this is the Thanksgiving episode. So do yeah, head over to m4krichmond.org and check. We'll it out. do another episode before. We'll have one. It'll more come episode. out the day of the stash bash though, yeah, so it'll be. Of. It'll You'll still have time to give if you listen that day, though. You will, but this is probably the final push yeah. that we get to do. It is Thanksgiving. If you're feeling thankful, you're feeling grateful for some of the things you have this year, maybe maybe make a donation to somebody who, who doesn't have as much to be thankful for. These charities, uh, we've said it in the past, 100% of your dollars, your in-kind dollars. To the donate. kids. It's to the kids. It's not even to the adults. So, I mean. Yeah, I'm not even really yeah. worried about the adults. Some of them, some of them need help, too. But. Yes. But I can't. We focus. We're focusing on the kids kids where I know all of them could use your help. And most of them are in a situation they did not put themselves in. No. No. I don't think any kid sat up last year for Christmas praying for cancer. No. Then it all of a sudden, I win. No, that's not how that works. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm not a doctor, but I don't think that's how it works. I mean, yeah, I guess I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Probably shouldn't even be making stupid comments right now. <laughs> I'm trying to do a heartfelt plug, but hey, we're doing we're doing it and keeping it funny. That's what we do. That's right. So please do head over to m4krichmond.org. Check it out. If you can donate, 
this would be a great time of year to do so. Find someone on our team, help them out. We have a Venmo account. We're not telling you what it is. Not for another two weeks. Not interested in your money. If you do have money and you want to share it with us, please do share it with the children that we're supporting. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't had a chance to send us topics, you can do so at inside the at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram at ITPH Podcast. The Venmo account you'll have to listen two weeks from now. We'll give it to you then. And that's about all I got for you. That's it. Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours, my people. We appreciate the support. Cheers. Cheers. That was a pretty good podcast, don't you think? <laughs>